one more thing I wanted to raise, and that was this incredible story that happened also over Christmas. Um, but it was of the striking of the statue of St. Peter the Pope in Buenos Aires. Now, so it's a Pope statue in Buenos Aires. Um, it was so incredible because it happened on uh, December the 18th, the day of the release of this uh, Fiducia Supplicans, the day after the Pope's birthday, I believe I have it right. And uh, it was looked into because it was so stunning to come out at that time that a lot of people thought, oh, that can't be true. Uh, Michael Hitchborn, who is a great researcher, he actually had someone there look into it. And sure enough, it was true that lightning struck the statue, didn't destroy the statue, but actually struck the hand off that was holding the keys. Very significant because it was our Lord that gave St. Peter the keys. And, and that's why every Pope is depicted with uh, keys. Uh, because uh, the, uh, our Lord says, you have the keys to, you know, to, to what you bind on earth is bound in heaven. What you uh, loose on earth is loosed in heaven. To come out on that day, it struck me as, as memorable and significant as the lightning striking St. Peter's uh, when the Pope Benedict resigned. Um, I'd love to hear your takes on it. The symbolic meaning of that, um, you know, is significant. Uh, I happened to be uh, finishing, I actually uh, didn't quite get there to the end of uh, reading the Bible in a year. So I was reading the book of Revelation, and it that's what it, it calls to mind, is some of that imagery from the book of Revelation. The people trying to explain it away say, oh, the halo was already gone or whatever. Um, but I, I think that, I, I guess... Whatever actually happened with this statue, I think it's it has it resonates in a significant way for people of faith because it's a reminder of those sacred things that aren't being treated with the sacredness that they deserve. I mean, I think that's just the reality. Um, and it it just does, I think it it should give all of us pause to say. Okay, um, get your life in order because you just, you know, it the the false messages have consequences. And uh, you know, so I don't I've never been to Buenos Aires. I don't know if the 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 truth of all of this, but um I think it is significant because it touches significant imagery that isn't being you know, the sacred is sort of up for grabs these days. And I, I, to me, that's one of the, the lessons there. When I heard the story, I said, this can't be true. Uh, it, it can't be true. And so I waited a couple of days until it was verified. And indeed, it was verified that, yes, it was true. To think that the statue of St. Peter, the first pope, was struck by lightning on the pope's birthday at the issuance of this document. The halo was knocked off and the keys fell out of his hands. The Italians have an expression. His Excellency knows this expression. It's one of the first ones we learn in Italian. <laughs> Se non è vero, è ben trovato. And I would translate it as, if it's not true, it should be. <laughs> because it's, it's, it's perfect. 